So I clearly did my face. <laughs> I, I have a, uh, I had a staph infection that kind of ravaged my face. It stuck in here. It went down my ears, down my, and that was like two years ago. So I'm really excited to see the results. I just got done with my uh, facial treatment. Probably the most important or painful thing that I came for was my neck. I had several cervical discs in my neck that were really bad um, and contributed to another thing I have it's called thoracic outlet syndrome that has really impacted the quality of my life I can't even take notes anymore it's very difficult for me to drive a car um, I, I used to exercise and be able to play with I've got six kids I used to be able to go out and play and I can't I cannot do any of that anymore and I've tried everything I could feel right away that there was a difference and uh, I just got this done yesterday. So the fact that I can feel it now is amazing. Um, that was the first procedure, and so they did several discs. And then my second procedure, I've had this shoulder reconstructed twice, um, and it's really terrible. I can't, I couldn't move my arm above this, right? And so they went in, did the shoulder capsule, and then he also, he was so, smart and he understood so much um, the surgeon that he found another spot because there was so much swelling in in there he found another spot that I don't know how he knew that was the spot but when he hit it I, I said that is the spot where I get so much pain and then he shot it in there and there was even a better uptake there so just the fact that surgeons are both intuitive and so highly trained and qualified and, and so kind. Um, it was just amazing. So I woke up this morning a little bit stiff, but feeling a million times better. I will tell you that last night I probably got the best night of sleep that I've gotten in maybe 10 years. I mean, I went to sleep and stayed asleep and with no medicine. And I, you know, I probably wake up probably get four hours of sleep a night but it's not good sleep it's so interrupted every time I move I wake up from pain my kids will say that I at night I like make noise because when I move I'm in so much pain so to get a solid seven hours of real sleep I, I can't even explain so the sleep deprivation that comes with you know chronic pain is just as debilitating as the pain. So um, just, if all I got was one good night's sleep out of this trip, it would have still been worth it, but I got way more than that. Having chronic pain syndrome is, it is exhausting just to survive throughout the day. Um, then to try to be a good doctor to your patients, try to be a good mother to your children, um, it, it just makes life miserable. And I've probably been happier and not thinking about my pain more the last two days since I've been here than the last five years. Um, you know, I think that, um, I'm gonna cry. I, I, think, I, I think that um, my children are very hopeful that I will come back and they can see the pain on my face and no matter how much you hide it. So I think that this is gonna help them because they don't worry about me as much. That's my, my hope. So it will make me happier, but it will take some of that off of my, my kids and even my patients. My patients worry about me too, so 